the best option strategies that every options trader should know. My name is David Jaffe. I'm the founder of beststockstrategy.com. So I'm gonna to try to keep things as, as simple as possible because the reason why you're watching this video is you wanna make money. So the option strategies that you need in order to make money is first, you need a watch list and you should keep your watch list as small as possible. If you have an account that's below 10,000, you should trade at a maximum two securities, probably only one. You should choose Facebook and then just watch it. That's it. And then get comfortable with the trading range. If you have an account that's between 10 and 50,000, you should trade two. If you have something between 100 and 300,000, you should trade a maximum of three securities. These are all market leaders, Facebook, Amazon, Boeing, Lockheed Martin. I also have on my watch list, Goldman Sachs, PayPal. Um, you know, I, I have liked recently the gaming stocks like ATVI or like TTWL. So the first strategy is eliminate all distractions, have a very small watch list. Don't get tempted by like Nvidia or Tesla or Netflix or trading futures or penny stocks. So first things first, have a very small watch list. The second thing, the second strategy is get comfortable with the trading range. Facebook right now is trading at around 175. Its trading range over the past few weeks has been the high of like 180 and a low end it's been at 170. I will then wait for Facebook to fall to 172 and then I will sell an option with a strike price of $158 that expires around six weeks in the future and I'll collect around $1.20 a share or $120 per contract. That's pretty much the strategy. But being extremely disciplined is another point that you have to do. Now, the third strategy is you only wanna trade naked options unless you're going to trade a super expensive stock like Amazon that's going to reduce your buying power. But naked options, contrary to what a lot of people tell you, are way safer than vertical credit spreads because with a naked option, you maximize the amount of credit and premium that you receive. It's extremely easy to roll and manage a naked position relative to a vertical credit spread. And also you are inherently protected against your natural greed or your natural tendency to be greedy when you trade a vertical credit, when you trade a naked option versus a vertical credit spread, because a lot of people where they get in trouble is they'll sell two naked options, but then with a vertical credit spread, they'll sell 20 of them. And then when the option trades in that no man's land, below the, the put that they sell and above the put that they bought, when they sell too many contracts of vertical credit spread, they end up losing six months or a year's worth of gains. So only trade naked options. So to recap, you wanna keep a very small watch list. Again, if you have an account that's under $10,000, you wanna trade a maximum of two, and even if you only trade one security, that's good enough. You can make 30 to 50% every single year by trading one security. Then you wanna get comfortable with its trading range, its recent trading range. You wanna wait for it to fall in the low end of the range. You wanna trade naked options. And let's say Facebook, like as an example, is trading at 175. Its trading range is 170 to 180. You wait for it to sell, to trade down to 172. Then you sell a naked put option with a strike of 158. You collect $1.20 a share. That will expire six weeks in the future. That trade is profitable around 95% of the time. That's pretty much it. That is how you make money in the stock market. You, the real trick to making money in the stock market is to be disciplined. And you don't wanna get distracted. I don't read any articles. When a student messages me about Netflix or Tesla or Nvidia or something like that, I just ignore it. I don't read any articles. I don't try to compete on information. I don't get distracted. I just do this every single day of the week. I hit singles. So these are the best options trading strategies. You can try to keep it simple. I know that you probably have other questions about, oh, do you look at the deltas? Do you look at the IV? Do you look at the, you know, the relative IV or the implied volatility and like all that stuff? I don't listen, I don't, I don't look at any of that shit. And the reason is that all of it is reflected in the price that you receive when you sell options. So for example, if there's very high implied volatility, then instead of receiving $1.20 a share, 
I'm gonna receive a dollar sixty. And those statistics that you're quoted about, like you know, the standard deviations and the prob probability of profit, they are inherently very inaccurate. One standard deviation, it'll tell you that you're if you sell a put option that's one standard deviation away, it tells you that it should expire worthless 68% of the time. But the reality is it does around it expires worthless like 72 or 73%. So you have to make a judgment call and not rely upon indicators, and all of the information is reflected in the amount of premium that you're gonna receive. So you essentially just make a decision and say, okay, am I, do I think it's a good trade for me to agree to buy Facebook at 158, and do I think that me being compensated a dollar 20 a share is worth the risk that I'm taking to buy Facebook at 158 when it's now trading at 172? That's pretty much what the question that you ask yourself. If the answer is no, then you wait for this dollar 20 a share to increase to a dollar 40. If the answer is yes, then you make a trade. All right, that's how we make money in the stock market. This is David Jaffe from beststockstrategy.com. If you have any questions, let me know. You can go to the website and sign up for free training. You can also sign up for the best trade alerts available. It's only $19 for a seven day trial. And please like, comment, share, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I respond to every single comment. Once again, this is David Jaffe and thank you very much.